Hi, I just want to show you how to make grapefruit juice. This is um, one of the juices that people drink on the Gerson if they're diabetic. Um, as part of the breakfast, um, usually that's in conjunction with a porridge and uh, this is the starter juice. So anyway, this is the grapefruit and um, it's just been peeled and we've done it quite finely um, so that this is quite thinly cut so you're not actually losing too much of the fruit um, and you want to make sure this skin white skin is on there because that is actually this is actually where most of the bioflavonoids um, are in the fruit so get a quite a sharp knife to cut with this is a red grapefruit that we're using and it's organic sorry I mean pink grapefruit Alright, and the reason we've actually chopped this in the bowl as opposed to on the chopping board is so that any of the juice, which obviously is going to release as it's being cut, doesn't get wasted um, because it's obviously collecting in the bowl and you can use all of that. And we're juicing using a masticating juicer. The one that we're using is the Panasonic MJL500. I haven't been sponsored to use this machine. It's one that we got a few months ago. Um, so this is the one that we're using. So I've just put a glass which comes right up to the top here. And we've just put a little container just to raise up the level. Keeping it at this height also means that there's less spillage. Because when it, the juice comes out, it will come out from the spout um, and it just keeps it directly going into the glass so there's no overspill. So this uh, juicer comes with a plunger you can use for pressing any fruit and vegetable that you insert um, in the machine but for citric juices or um, carrots or things like that you don't really need it. Um, it's more helpful for um, greens so like um, lettuces and um, other leaf kind of uh, vegetables. Okay, this is uh, starting to make the grapefruit juice. Um, I just normally keep my hand up there so it doesn't spill over or go over or bounce back. Um, and then you can see slowly the juice starting to come on one side and the wastage on the other side. And with this juice, we don't actually use a sieve. It's a citric juice, so there's no need for that. For the other juices, like the greens juice and the carrot juice, that's when we tend to also put a sieve over here. So there's less, literally no fibre. And the idea behind this is also that uh, when I insert each piece in there, I'll wait for about three to five seconds until I put the next one in there to get the most juice out of the already inserted piece. Remember, this is a slow juicer, it is not a centrifugal one. So the idea behind that is that 
the juice doesn't get heated up so it doesn't tend to lose as much of the enzyme quality and you can see the wastage that's coming out it's, it's not totally dry but it's dry enough so you don't really need to squeeze it uh, which the person therapy recommends doing yeah it seems to be able to get quite a lot of the juice out of the whatever we're putting in there at the moment we've been juicing carrots and the grapefruit juice sometimes orange juice and greens juice so you can see my video on that on making the greens juice uh, I just we haven't actually I'll sh we're gonna make one showing how it's actually the juicing process. At the moment I've got a video which shows uh, the ingredients and how to prepare a few at once. Alright, so this is how much uh, grapefruit juice you can get out of that one grapefruit. Alright, okay, so this is actually how much in terms of quantity that one grapefruit amounts to so it's 200 milliliters um, which is approximately six ounces or um, just a little bit uh, more than half a cup okay so there you go, and that is essentially how we make our grapefruit juice. Thank you for watching the video, Hope, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe.